Hey, it's Grips, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can improve the workflow in Video Studio, and I'm gonna show you some really cool editing tips to take your video to the next level. Before we begin, let's go into the settings, preferences, and I'm just gonna see if we can make your system perform a little bit better. Uh, undo, I go up to about 30. I think anything beyond 30 is ridiculous. That means you clearly have made uh, too many mistakes. Start again, don't waste time with going undos. Go into the edit tab, resembling quality, set it to best and make sure enable audio while scrubbing is also checked. And this is important and I'll show you that later. Performance check, uh, enable smart proxy, but uncheck auto generate. And this will be automatically checked for you, enable decoder and encoder. If you are having trouble with the system running slow, uncheck these. That's all I need to do uh, to set up the computer to run at its best, I press OK. My very first tip that I can give you is trim your videos before you actually put it onto your timeline. This is a huge time saver. Let's have a look at a little clip here. I'm gonna play and there's like a two second pause. Let me give you five. Uh, let's go right at the beginning. Now, every second that I don't say anything is a second that I could lose my audience. So I want to make sure that I get your attention as quick as possible. I'm going to show you two little tips that I use here. I don't use the word play. I use this little uh, slider here. If I move this forward and hold it, it plays at half the speed. But this allows me exactly where I know I'm going to start talking. So I'm using this little wheel and this icon only. So once I start speaking, I know I'm very close. I'm just going to use the little wheel just to make a slight adjustment. Bingo. I think this is right. And then I'm going to press my in point here. And I'll do this exactly the same thing on the out point. And then once my video is trimmed, I'm then going to bring it into the timeline. And this is going to save me a huge amount of time. The next tip I can give you is start using some simple shortcut keys. So we are familiar with the control A, which highlights everything on your timeline. Control C, V and X, so they are standard across all platforms, control and paste. I'm also gonna show you something else. So let's say for instance, I've got a video clip here of three seconds and 23 frames, but I need it to be three seconds and 20 frames. The easiest way to do this is use the shortcut D, and what this allows is move it back one frame at a time. So now I'm exactly on three seconds and 20 frames. If I want to make a quick edit, like a, a split the video, I'm just gonna press the letter S on my keyboard and this then splits my video immediately. It just saves you one or two seconds. But if you have a very long video, one or two seconds adds up quickly. I'm just gonna control Z this back to the beginning. Now, if you want to fit the entire project uh, into the timeline, you can use this icon here, which does fit everything neatly into the timeline. <clears throat> but you could also use control and your mouse wheel, which then also zooms in and out onto your project. I find this much easier than using the the, the slide is up here because I can zoom in as much as I want and I can zoom out as much as I want. The last tip I can also give you is if you're going to insert a new video into your timeline, you want to make sure ripple, ripple editing is checked. So to do that, highlight the little link chain here and then you can just see anything that's blue that indicates that if I was to make any edit, like if I was gonna drag a new clip onto the timeline, then everything would move forward in unison. If I did not do that, only the first layer would move and every other layer would stay exactly where they are. So if I'm using, say, something like uh, music or text, they will go out of alignment and it's gonna look really weird and then you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to fix that. Ripple editing is a huge time saver. There are two types of jump cuts and I'm gonna show you the first one. So in the beginning, I asked you to make sure that audio while scrubbing was enabled and I'm gonna show you the reason why. Let's go into the WAV format. So now we're having a look at the audio. So while I'm scrubbing, I can hear the audio. Now, with the first jump cut, what we do is we eliminate all the places where there is no speech. So we're literally jumping from this audio to that audio. And the reason why I use the audio scrubbing, so I know exactly where to insert or delete the sections. So there's no audio here. So let's have a listen right now how it would sound. Five, five tips to lose easily tip number one movement just keep so when i went from f losing weights to tip number one there was a, like a one or two second now we could tidy this up with a jump cut so let's go right to the beginning of this here like even here right here i can already eliminate this one here s on the keyboard delete that section let's go to the next one here s on the keyboard the start of the audio 
S again, delete this section. And I'll do this all the way through my video. So I can see here is another dead uh, wave file. S, S, highlight the section and delete. So now let's listen to that with the jump cuts. Five tips to lose weight easily. Tip number one, movement. Just keep moving. Do not sit for too long. So that's what a jump cut is. It just literally gets rid of all the empty spaces. The second jump cut is quite unique as well. Now, just because I've eliminated all the dead noise, if I'm going to be sitting there talking to you directly for five minutes, there is nothing there to reset your attention. So what we do is what we call a quick zoom. So let's go into the timeline around about five seconds. I'm going to make a split, maybe talk for three or four seconds. So up to eight seconds, a split again. I'm going to highlight the clip and then I'm going to drag in a crop filter. So I may use something like crop borders, drag it on there, double click customs filter and the zoom in that's all I want so I'm not going to use any keyframes uncheck the keyframe zoom in and press OK so what this is going to do as I'm talking I zoom in and four seconds later it's going to zoom back out but that is just enough for you to reset your attention let's have a look and back out and that's the second jump cut so I got two footages on my timeline. One is me speaking and then the second one is me going or my intro. So if I play it now, it's a direct cut. It goes from one footage to the next. But we can use a thing called J cut or an L cut where I can hear the next video coming before I can see it. And that lets the audience know there's something coming or something is changing. So let's do that. Let's first go into the wave format and I'm going to drag this clip on the overlay track and I'm going to bring it underneath the second the first clip round right about here is what I want so I'm going to talk but then you're going to start hearing the next clip coming in okay so next thing I'm going to do I'm going to split my audio and I'm put that onto the audio track and then all I want to do is eliminate this part of the overlay track otherwise I can't see myself talking so I'm just going to bring the CTI highlight this clip I'm just going to bring it to the end of that track there so I now know it's perfectly in line I'm going to highlight this clip press s and just delete that first clip like that so now watch this all right so obviously it's a bit loud so what I want to do is right click on this and I will fade the audio in and I can adjust that as well so let's have a look at this now So there you go. By simply doing a J cut, the, lets the audience know, hey, there's something coming. It's a transition of some type. So that way that you ease into it. The L cut is in complete reverse where I'm going to hear, I'm going to see the video, but not quite hear the audio because I'm going to let the audio play out. But I'll do the same thing. I'll then fade out the audio and then bring in a new clip on top of that. So let's go just grab anything randomly like this. Bring it just slightly underneath, and then I'm going to do the same thing. So now this audio is still going to be part of this video clip, or this video clip you'll see first before you hear the audio. And that is then called the L cut, because as you can see, it's shaped like the letter L. This is shaped like the letter J. B-roll is a very effective way to keep your audience engaged. So this clip I have on the timeline, it's roughly about one minute. And the last thing I want to do is just sit there and look at you for one minute because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me for one minute. So I'm going to use things like B-roll to captivate you or reset your attention. So here I am talking about how to lose weight and I've got five tips. Have a quick easily. listen. All right, so where I say lose weight easily, I'm going to make a marker here. And then I'm going to drag in a still image and place it right under that marker where I was talking about weight loss. So this then represents someone trying to lose weight. I'm going to then shorten this clip. So what it's going to do, as I'm talking, I'm going to direct you to something else. To lose weight easily. Okay. So I can make this anywhere I think it's appropriate. So let's keep listening. Tip number one. So tip number one, I can do two things here. I can go to the title track, create basically tip number one. Tip one, we tip one like that. And again, I've reset your attention. 
so you can see something new that's happening in front of you. I may shorten that as well. Easy. Let's have a look. Okay, now I could also make this onto the image file itself. Now, if I'm going to use a long image file, and let's let's con get out of this completely, and I'm going to use a long image file. Let's go over here, back into my project, and I have a photo of a of a house. Now, imagine I'm trying to tell people about how wonderful this house is. Now, just looking at this image, even for two or three seconds, can get quite boring. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to animate this by going FX, and I might use something like uh, a zoom filter or van uh, pan and zoom. So, here, pan and zoom. And if I play it now, you can see that I'm actually talking about the house, but now I've physically made the video or the image come to life. And this is another form of B-roll. It's a very effective way to do it. And I'm going to show you one more method, and that's just using video itself. So let's go back into here. I may grab my uh, video again, talking about weight loss. And as I'm talking about weight loss, I'm most likely going to talk about, oh, let's go to the gym. So I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm going to grab a bit of footage from the gym. I'm going to mute the audio from the gym because I'm not interested in that. Mute. So again, as I'm talking. And that's what B-roll does. And again, it resets your attention and gives the audience something else to look at. Another little trip or trick that I can show you with using attention resetter is I'm going to flip where I'm sitting. So I'm going to highlight the overlay clip, go to the end highlight the main track, split the track, and just maybe until I go to another B-roll. So predominantly that's within about less than 10 seconds time. I'm gonna do this again, split the video. I'm not gonna delete anything. Instead, I'm gonna apply a new filter called the flip filter. So let's have a look for that, the flip filter. Here it is. And what I'm doing here is I'm sitting differently now. So I'm going from this angle, watching the B-roll, but when you come back, I'm sitting on this angle. And this is very effective if it's a long range shot. It looks like you're using multicam, but in actuality, all I'm doing is just split, uh, flipping my footage. So it looks like I'm sitting differently. And again, it catches you off guard and gives you another attention resetter. There you go. So I hope all these little uh, tips and tricks helps you with your workflow and your editing to make it faster and more pleasurable. And eventually what it does, it makes your audience retain their retention and keeps looking at your videos. And as always, thanks for watching.